the NTV, the bit is hashtag SoUG, and today it's an exclusive, a massive interview with the biggest and hottest selling African artist in East and Central Africa. His name is Diamond Platinums, aka Simba, from the mountains of Serengeti. You can call him Chibu Dangote, or you can actually call him the boy from Tandale. He's right here in Kampala. I'm coming live and direct from Mestil Hotel. Diamond Platinums, How you doing, my it's a pleasure to host you. Pleasure, man, as well. How was your flight? Very good. There's one thing uh, you and I have a uh, similarity with. We're both uh, mama's boys. How is mama Dangote? My mom, she's very fine. She's very fine? Yeah. Very Tanasha? She's pretty much fine. Congratulations <laughs> on uh, what, what you're brewing inside there. Thank you so much. Awesome. Um, Jana, Sijota Twanziawapi, uh, for starters, man, you have a massive following in Uganda, both uh, online and offline, your music and everything. Just say hi to the people, man. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. This is platinum diamond. Chibu di chibu de. Do one of you need taga, baby? Hey. Utam tam. <laughs> this guy, we have <laughs> literally kanyagad. Uh, we have literally inamad. We have uh, tetemad. <laughs> we have kainamad. Those are two different songs. <laughs> Inama and kainama. We have the one African beauty. Last year, it was all about the boy from Tandale album. <laughs> sure. This year, what have you been up to? Well, I'm not working on my next album. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't have a specific, specific name for it, yeah. but uh, people should expect something uh, unique and iconic as I normally do. Yeah. And I'm going to have different features from different countries and continent as well. Yeah. Uh, just to pass it up, then drop it. Then drop it. Yeah. Speaking about dropping, uh, something you just dropped about a uh, couple of weeks ago, everything you've been, uh, we've been discussing this and I was telling you, it's about hit after hit after yeah. hit. Yeah. And the views, how do you do that? The views on YouTube, how do you do that? I think I've got the loyal fans, that's all I can say, because it's, it's not about me, it's like yeah. it's about the fans and they're supporting me so much and I appreciate them so grateful. I always say that when I get those numbers, it's like I even get, sh get shocked sometimes because sometimes I don't expect yeah. And I believe they love me so much and they support me so much and that's the thing make me drop hits all the time because I don't want to disappoint them. You don't yeah. want to disappoint your fans and, and your fans have been there for you through yeah. thick and thin and uh, we've been discussing this off air and I was ask, actually asking you about uh, Tabora and Wasafi Festival. Yeah. How is it coming through? Yo, it's, it's amazing. The impact is, is marvelous. Like, and I, as I say, I didn't expect now uh, we're about to do another one. Straight yeah. from here, I go direct to, uh, to Mwanza. We have another one on Saturday, uh, another Safi Festival. Then after that, I fly from Mwanza to Burundi. I have my show as well. So, like, everything is smoothly that's what I guess. everything is smoothly and of course uh, talking about wasafi you sh you might have heard i mean uh, there was a time saudi so people were crucifying yeah. them you know because they, they were in the industry for a while yeah. however they had not really nurtured anybody now they have uh, with soul generation <coughs> because and even then people are comparing you know look at what diamond is doing with wasafi uh, you have ravani you have harmonize you have uh, lava lava you have mboso you have yeah. rich mavoko <laughs> what was the idea behind you know creating a new generation of artists that actually so many other people should embrace and of course you push them uh, in terms of uh, the online content as well I think the main point was to empower the youth and as the musician I, um, I believe it's not me who made myself to be here yeah. I was empowered by the fans the team and everybody so I feel like I cannot say that I'm rich but the uh, the just little influence that I have, I want to use it in a very positive way to empower other youth. So that's what I'm going to do. And it comes from my heart. Yeah. That's why all my artists are doing fine. If it doesn't come from your heart, it will never work. Because sometimes you have to put yourself like on danger. Sometimes yeah. you have to put your career in a danger zone. Like it's, it's crazy because sometimes you have to risk your life. Yeah. You shouldn't drop your songs so that your artists can drop their songs. Yeah. Sometimes you should not do event so that your artists can do event. Because once I'm going to do, the all attention will come to me. It's, there's a lot of things sometimes you have to risk so that to empower them. Yeah. So it, that's why I say it needs to come from your heart. If you do it without coming from your heart, it will never work. If you fake it, 
even they can ever break into the market. <laughs> hey, you see, you just ran there, faking and making and breaking it. Uh, speaking about things coming from your heart, uh, yesterday, Tanasha Donna posted on her Instagram that, uh, you know, she's coming up with a new, we know about the EP. We've been playing her song already, and of course, Naizi, which is a new one. And she did say, you already know the artist that I'm collaborating with this one. Everybody's looking and having their eyes on you. You want to tell us something? Is there something cooking? Uh, uh, you and Tanasha, uh, is, collaboration. Is, it's hard to tell you that because you know <laughs> she's the one who's supposed to be saying that <laughs> she, she, said has, you know she has she uh, has you know like she has her plans and yeah. i think it's not going to be good if i'm going to i'm going to reveal yeah. them yeah. you understand i have to let her be the one to reveal them but people should expect a lot from her yeah she's trying her level best to make sure that she represent our east as well yeah she's trying her level best to make sure that she be come positive as much as she can and i got her back as well awesome so it's very yeah. important for a man to get the back of uh, his woman and uh away from that though let me go back to ray vani and harmonize yeah. ray vani did an amazing song with a uh, fig for maker sure. harmonize as well did uh, something dope with uh with uh, our very own eddie kenzo yeah. and then about last week there's something uh, somebody actually tweeted yeah. there was oh, this it was uh, like literally trending everywhere you see that? What is it? What? Iwake, Iwake, Iwake Fire. Fire. Iwake Fire. Yes. Let me just show the people on TV that that's what we have. Uh, you see that? It's a poster claiming that uh, Diamond Platinums has a uh, collaboration with uh, Eddie Kenzo. Yes. Everybody is wondering, man, when is Diamond Platinums doing a collaboration with a Ugandan artist? Because you've done one with uh, Akothi from Kenya. You have so many with uh, Nigerians from Banner Boy, Mr. Easy, which one is coming through, yeah. Davido as well, Flavor. <laughs> Tell us about that. Yeah, I think maybe we were waiting for the right moment, right time. This shows that someone right actually timing. wants you to do something with Eddie Kenzo. Uh, yeah, and you know me, I'm Eddie, Eddie Kenzo is my brother, yeah. and I'm sure we can do something. I don't know if he's around, because I didn't check on him yet, I didn't call him yet. Yeah. But I check on him, if he's going to be around, then we can do something. Like, we always want to do something together, and uh, more than willing to, because, you know, like, we're all from East Africa, yeah. and we all wish the best, like, we all want to have the best uh, music career. We all want to have the best uh, music industry in East Africa. So I think it's just a matter of we're all busy. We haven't got the right timing for us to do that. Yeah. But maybe I think we can be able to do this before the end of the year. Yeah. Awesome. And speaking about the end of, of the year and ov yeah. obviously about you being very busy, yeah. you're like the first artist who came out in East Africa sure. to actually release your schedule for the whole year. Yeah. How do you do that? How do you manage to say, you know what, I'm totally booked. This is where I'm going to be and this, this particular time. How important is it for you as an artist? Like, it's, it's very important because once people, they see that, you know, other organizer or promoter, they can want to connect another show from that calendar yeah. so it's, it's very important for the artists to post their calendar and you should not fake it because once you fake <laughs> you will miss the shows because organizer i mean an organizer or promoter we think maybe you already booked on that date why you are not so you miss the show so once you have the proper calendar you have to share with your people so that they can see how they can get connected to that and like honestly i don't want to lie to me normally i don't know my calendar like, yeah. my manager who knows that Salam, he normally like most of the time is one who's sending me the calendar. I was like, Oh, so these are my shows, and then I post them. Like, even now, he was telling me about there's more shows, shows added, like, so I have to repost another man. one. Yeah, I'm trying, though, I'm trying to make it because like, honestly, and even why I asked it, uh, I asked you this. I was actually uh, talking with Alex and I was yeah. telling him, We actually, when you posted that, yeah. we were discussing it on the show, and we were wondering. 25th July, Diamond is going to be in Kampala. Yeah. So we started debating who is bringing Diamond, who is yeah. doing this, and what yeah. is he coming to do? Yeah. I want to know what was he, uh, why important, uh, how, how important is it for you to work with Alex? Uh, he's a hardworking guy, so yeah. um, I have all the rights to, uh, to work with him, yeah. and I'm so proud of him, and I can't wait for tomorrow. And we all from East Africa. Are we all like starving and we want to <laughs> make yeah. our East Africa proud? That's the reason behind. And I can't wait, as I say, like, can't wait to see my people. It's been a while, never been here. Yeah. So uh, for me to be here and perform tonight, to me tomorrow, hey, I can't even explain how it's I feel. Fire. It's a fire, bro. Uh, Diamond, kuna kitu inaendela uku Uganda, which is basically, um, there's a guy, he's called uh, Fresh Daddy. 
uh, yeah. Fresh Daddy has a son, it's called uh, Fresh Kid. And we know how important it was for you to reunite with your father. Yeah. You actually uh, invited him for the 707, uh, the great Gatsby. Yeah. And uh, he goes now by the name Big Lion. He's doing yeah. music. Yeah. Are you looking to sign him? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Hello, what's uh, Sign your dad. Like, how can I sign my dad? Like, I have to make sure that... You need to also. You're <laughs> pushing Tanasha. You want to push your dad as well? Yeah, like, my family, they will always be there. I'll make sure I empower them as much as I can by, you know, yeah. signing them. Like, a con, but, like, you know. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. I, you, I you, sure I push them as much as, as I much can. As much as you can. Yeah. Honest stuff. And uh, wh wh one more important question. I need to ask this. Uh, for many people who are watching, Wasafi and yesterday, no, it was it the other day, you tweeted and uh, you said that you have signed a new artist. Yeah. I know you go, you're not going to reveal the name of the artist, yeah. but I want to know how important is it for you and how, what are the criteria you use to sign an artist and uh, Wasafi? Yeah. First of all, like, as I said, my aim and my point to be in this career is like, I want to empower the youth, I mean the youth as much as I can. Yeah. So uh, whenever I get an opportunity to do that, I do so. And apart from that, like, you asked me about what are my qualifications. Yes. Uh, the first thing, the artist need to be talented. He has to be real. Uh, like manners, like you know, you, he must have respect. Yeah. Like, cause if he doesn't have respect, the day he will come out, he become bigger. I think it will be crazy. Uh, he needs to know how to write. If you don't know how to write the heat, I can never waste my time to you, because I don't have time to look for a person to come write a song to you. Me, I don't have that time. I want you to know how to write. I want you to know how to dance. I want you to be like, cause. I've created a space for the talent kids. Yeah. So if you're not talented enough, you can never come to my zone. I don't want to lie, bro. Because you'll be, you be making other talented kids to do not get to their goals while maybe if you're not there, they will become bigger. So instead of you closing their doors, yeah. I'm going to be the first one to say, like, you know what, bro? Just stay aside and let me take that guy because that guy is very talented. And it's not a joke now. As you know, we all want our East African market to become bigger. Yeah. So I have to make sure whoever I touch, I put him in WCB Wasafi, has to be well talented so that together we can make our East African music industry bigger. Awesome stuff. And uh, speaking about East Africa, True. Alex, 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 yeah. come and join me. He's just talking about yeah. talents and yeah. East Africa. Without you in this interview, we would not be as East African as we need to be. I'm going to play with you, yeah. and you're going to say if, we, if he's right or wrong. Yeah. I want you, yeah. in uh, 10 seconds, to mention 10 of Diamond's songs, starting now. Let's go. Tetema. Uh -huh. uh, Inama. Yes. Uh, of course, uh, oh my God. I this is too much it. pressure. Is that? Ah, come on, you're killing me, man. Eh? Kanyaga. Uh, Kanyaga. Yeah. <laughs> no, of course, Kanyaga, I wanted to come last. Okay. I was thinking of the other one. There's Waka. Waka, There's, uh, Waka. Oh, man, there are many. There's so many. <laughs> there are so many. If you tell me 10, you're killing me. I'm like, which one? <laughs> <laughs> which one <is> so <laughs> I pushed you. Yeah. Man, how are you? And uh, people are looking forward to this show. Yeah. What should people expect? Oh, my God. Diamond is already in the building. So, you know, energy, you know, the vibe is right. Yeah. And you've seen him do his thing. So, I really. I should not bring the heels. Yeah. But they won't be able to dance. <laughs> they won't be able to dance. I want uh, all of us to go Kanyaga. crazy. You guys need to determine. So if you're going to be in heels, unless yeah. otherwise you're very professional, you can dance with the heels. Yeah. But if you know you can't even walk with them, then yeah. just leave them aside. I will come with two <laughs> pairs that you don't understand. Like yeah, sleep awesome other other. Special announcement to all the slay judges, slay mamas, and slay queens. Please, please, no heels. It's diamond in the building. So yeah, keep, right, it, keep it, keep it, keep it flat shoes and, you know, <laughs> and uh, those other things. But they you know they need to cut work for him. I, I know. But you come with two pairs then. Yeah. Two pairs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And you know, um, I'm going to ask you this. Yeah. Um, what's the most unique thing about Diamond and working with Diamond on this one? Diamond is the biggest artist in Africa. So everyone wants to work with him. Yeah. Whether in whichever way you are, as young people trying to grow up, you want to work with the guys who have made it, the guys who are ahead of you. You want to also, you know, they, they, you want a blessing from the big guys. So I'm very proud to work with Diamond, and I can't wait. I hope, I hope this won't be the last time we're working together. So yeah. uh, all I can say is that it, it's an honor to have him here. 
and I'm sure tomorrow is going to be massive. Everyone knows it. it's diamond, man. There's nothing to explain. You can't say, oh, it's good. No, it's fire. It's fire. Yeah. Fire, fire, yeah. fire. Diamond, uh, he's just talked about working with people. Yeah. You worked with so many, uh, so many collaborations. I need to know which one is your favorite collaboration. Um, if you ask me now, yes, I can say Nama. Yeah, with Pale Pupa. I yeah. to say, say that, that broke records on YouTube. Yeah, it just broke, broke records. Yeah. I love that song because there's a lot of things what made me like that song because Pale Pupa is among the uh, favorite artists of mine yeah. in the world, not in Africa, in the world. And like he been my brother since way back. Sometimes, you know, Pale can even can just come in and advise me when I do something wrong. Awesome. So he been like my brother. So and we always wanted to do something, but uh, it wasn't the right time for us to do that. Mm -hmm. And now we've got a proper song. Like you know, when you want to do something with a person, right. then you got a chance and you do, and the song become bigger. Yeah. That's become your most favorite thing. Mm -hmm. So Inama is my most favorite thing. Like mm -hmm. now, like all those French speakers, countries, that song is yours, is very big. Say. It just it just give me another fan base that I never had. Mm -hmm. So I uh, respect that song and it's my favorite. And the best thing I love about that song, I didn't change my type of singing. Yeah. I did the way how I used to do. I give what I used to do back in the days. You know, the way how I sing to that song is like how I used to sing back in the days. Mm -hmm. And the song become bigger in a word way. So it's my favorite, bro. Awesome stuff. Because it's your favorite, are uh, you going to say something? No, no, I was just wanted, I wanted to add something on that Inama song. Yeah. I like the... And you know what? Know. We're going to end with that. Yeah. We're going to end this interview with that. Uh, Diamond, yeah. please join us. We're going to dance that. He, he's going to teach us yeah. the, the Inama oh. thing, yeah? <laughs> Guys, it's a hashtag NTV the bit, hashtag SoUG. Yeah. Diamond yeah. is in Uganda. The hashtag we're using is Lion is in Kampala. Simba is in Kampala. Diamond Platinums is in Kampala. You know what it is? Hashtag SoUG. For now, we're going to show you that we're actually so good at dancing. It's uh, Sami, uh, Diamond, and of course, Alex. I'm going to do that. Yeah. Can I get a yeah. 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 okay. yeah. 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 Lastly, man, just uh, yeah. tell the guys who are at home, yeah. guys need to come through, and of course, they need to keep watching NTV The Beat because we are yeah. the biggest musical show in I want to tell you something. Like, I normally don't go a place back to back. Yeah. If you see me in Uganda now, you may never see me like for two years come. So make sure you come tomorrow. Yeah. And me and you, we dance and sing together. That's all I can promise. I was born ready. I'm sure you're ready. Come. Yeah. That's, what's up. That's what's up. Alex, that's, yeah, that's yeah. it for us. That's tomorrow, we're going to be there. Yeah. Tickets, uh, the tables, you're telling me the tables are done. The tables are, the tables are done, but we still have the uh, 50K tickets and 150, the ones for VIP. So yeah. you can find those, those at the gate tomorrow at 4. At 4 p.m., man. Guys, keep time because the Simba is in Kampala. See you. Back to you, uh, Linda and uh, Doug Nice, and of course, DJ Dash on the ones and twos. Uh, just like that, uh, the uh, heavily weighted interview yes. has just gone down uh, from the lion himself, Mr. Diamond Platinum, of course. Beautifully executed by our very own Sammy Gideon Wetals in the yeah. building, and then, of course, alongside Alex Mohanji. Uh, some, some key things to pick on yeah. from what uh, the interview uh, has just uh, been done. Yes. Uh, Sammy Gideon did ask Diamond about having a collab with a Ugandan artist, and he said that the time is just not 